So I wanted to show you how to do some different styles of wedding invites. And I actually call this a basic wedding invite, although I know if I received this, I would think it was anything but basic. And if you see what it is, is it's built in sections. So when we open it up, you have one section that folds out where you can put one set of information, another set where you could have an RSVP and your main invite in the center. It's actually very easy to create. So if I pop that to one side, we're starting with a sheet of cardstock, which started life as A3, and I've trimmed it down to 15 and a half inches by 10 and three quarter inches this way, okay? And I'm gonna start off by popping the long edge up against the handle, right, at the ultimate. And we're going to score right along the gatefold A5 line, which is the first line after the wavy edge. Now, because it's a bit too long, I'm gonna score it in sections. So we score part of it move it along and score the other part and do that on both sides okay and then just turn it around so that we can score the panels now for the panels we're going to rest the shorter edge up against the handle and actually use the five inch square fold line so the first thing we do is score at five inch square fold and then I want you to turn that over and burnish that crease. And then to give us a tram line, what we're going to do is place that crease line. You see where we've got the two tram lines in the center? We're going to place the crease line over the first tram line and score the second one. Okay. And it's a little bit more fiddly to pull this second one in just because of the nature of its positioning to the first one. But once you've got it there, going to like being there no problem okay then do the same on the opposite corner rest up against score the five inch square fold line fold it over and burnish pop that into the tram line and do the line slightly to the right of it Now, to all of the scoring done in the ultimate for now, all we need to do is leave the two outer panels. So I'm going to use my scoring tool and I'm just going to, um, sorry, my cutting knife, I'm just cutting on the outside of the score line and then right up the center of this score line and cut that section away and then do the same here again you're going to cut just slightly outside the score line and cut this panel away first of all and then do the same here cutting up the score line cutting this panel away now one last score line I want you to do is bring this back on and to achieve a gusset at the top, I'm going to rest this score line and score just slightly to the side, making sure you score from the top part. And then fold and burnish both of those crease lines. Now, can you see what we're going to do? We're going to fold these up. And because they are where we're going to put the details of the invitation. We're going to just put a little bit of tape on the outsides and pop them into place. And then you'll see you just put the details for the wedding on this side. You've got two pockets to use. You fold up from one side, fold up from the other, and the top comes down. And if I just bring back in the final one, so you see you fold in from one side, fold in from the other, the top comes down and all I've done is wrapped it with a little bit of ribbon. And I think that makes a very advanced looking, but quite importantly, it makes a very simple to do wedding invite because anyone will know if you're doing a lot of wedding invites, you want something that's quite quick and easy to do. I think you'll agree. As far as wedding invites go, that most certainly is.